you need to take action yourself. No one else can do that for you. But you not. For the sake of achieving something to a point of getting burnt out. Who does that? If you know me, it's probably from one of the very many things I spend my life doing. Primarily, I'm a student, I'm a freelance illustrator, I take out commissions, I do children's books, I am an artistic swimming coach, I have my own comic, my own webtoon that I maintain, try to maintain. I'm also into content creation, mostly on YouTube and TikTok, try to get into Instagram a little bit. Last but certainly not least, I'm very involved in our church and in the ministry, which doesn't really feel like work, but of course requires a lot of time and certainly a lot of commitment. Not to mention the planning that goes into every single one of these tasks. For example, the planning it takes to create a YouTube video or a schedule for my students for a certain season of the year. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about the art of balancing or multitasking. So a question I get really often is how I'm able to balance out all of these tasks. The simple answer is simply the grace of God. Yeah, I've been told that I have a spirit of excellence or most commonly referred to as being a perfectionist. I'm going to show you a few things that I do, mindsets that I've developed in order to help me come as far as I have. Obviously, I'm still learning and there's so much to learn and so much more growing that I have to do myself. But I hope this helps you in whatever way it can. So the first thing is knowing how to prioritize. So what's important to know when you have an overwhelming list of things that you need to get done is that there are certain things on that list that require more priority over others or more attention and focus than others in that specific period of time. I am an extensive planner, organizer, and I'm on that side of TikTok too. So something that I've discovered recently is a concept known as time boxing. This is the template that I like to use. I'll leave a link down below where you can download it from if you want to try it out yourself. But essentially, how you tackle this is starting with the brain dump. So you kind of just dump out all of the things that you need to get done. It's essentially your to-do list and and I find this really helpful because sometimes I just have an overwhelming number of tasks and I just don't know where to start. So you just put everything down in one place and that's your brain dump. So once your brain dump is complete, from that list, you select your top three priorities for the day. And this could vary from day to day, obviously, depending on your needs and your schedule. And once you have your three priorities sorted, you move on to the right side of the sheet where you kind of allocate time during your day in order to achieve primarily your priorities and then sort of the rest of the things on your list. I love this method even though I started using it like very recently. I found it extremely helpful. Prioritizing also means allocating time for spending time with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and also yourself. You are the priority. The next thing is building habits. So when it comes to multitasking or balancing various tasks in your life, you've got to work your way up. Meaning you won't be able to juggle five tasks if you're struggling to manage only two. You know your capacity, what you are able to do right now, and work your way up from there. Developing habits surrounding these specific tasks or requirements enable you to start doing the task more effortlessly and therefore increase your capacity. A really good example for me when it comes to this was when I started my YouTube channel. I had to like really self-evaluate before making the commitment to make videos every week. I had to think, was it gonna affect my grades? Was it gonna give me additional stress? After much evaluation, I made the commitment. Initially, it was really hard to get used to the concept of filming and editing and I had to make a lot of lifestyle changes and develop certain habits around the task of making YouTube videos. And over time, as I got used to it, I was able to adjust to a very good workflow and I was able to take on more things. I was able to take on more freelance work as my capacity increased. I definitely can do much more now with my time than I could have a year ago when I started YouTube. Even when it comes to your planning habits, I started extensively planning my months, my weeks and my days back in November. And another thing that I love to use is the GoodNotes app on my iPad. All of my semester work, all of my modules, subjects, search notes, all of my planners, everything is on GoodNotes. So for me, because I have so much going on in my life all the time, I love to have everything in one place and since I carry my iPad around wherever I go, everything is in here. This is kind of like a mindset, but you need to understand yourself and adapt according to your situations. So the majority of my audience, like myself, are between the ages of 18 and 24. 
and that is a period where we are undergoing so much change in our life. It's a very, very transitional period. It was especially for me. Because you've been going to school for the last 13, 14 years and you've just been used to that one lifestyle and you're taken out of that environment, dropped into this totally new one, regardless of whether that is university or the work environment, whatever it may be. It's not what you've been used to. You need to adapt and change according to your situation. Never compare that of yours to another's. Like I'm constantly reminding myself that I'm not the same person that I was in school. I'm not the same Jerisha that used to be in the pool by 4.50 a.m. for training every morning. And of course, I should adapt myself to the me that I am today, which has to be better than the me that I was yesterday or the one that I was in high school. Which isn't to say that I wake up earlier than 4.50 a.m. Certainly not. But my priorities have changed according to my lifestyle. They're different now because I've adapted and I've evolved. But you do require a certain amount of discipline as well. That you are able to keep yourself on track, especially when you need to balance all of these things out in your life. And there's so much distraction out there for us. Best example is social media. We can endlessly be scrolling for hours and hours. I mean, I'm, I'm definitely guilty of it myself. But like you need to maintain a certain amount of discipline so that you use your time more effectively and productively. Back in school, waking up so early, being in the water by 4.50 a.m. 4.50 a.m. you guys, like who does that? Training for three hours, going to school for a full day, just to leave school and go for training in the evening. It builds you different. <laughs> During this time, my parents supported us a lot. We were quite young. As I stopped swimming and started doing artistic swimming more competitively, I had to develop this mindset for myself. I had to wake myself up. I had to train myself, go to the gym myself, go to that extra mile myself in order to achieve the things that I wanted. And to reach the level that I aspired to. With God's strength, obviously, I would have made it as far as I have. But you need to take action yourself. No one else can do that for you. No one else could do it for me. I had to discipline myself and it has become a trait that has enabled me to get as far as I have and get things done with the same determination. All that being said, discipline is good, but you also need to understand yourself. Understand your body, especially, and your capacity. You can't keep pushing yourself for the sake of achieving something to a point of getting burnt out. Which is exactly why you need to have priorities and develop habits around this lifestyle that you're trying to achieve in order to sustain it. You have to be flexible. There, there are going to be days where you might not be able to get everything on your to-do list done and you can't be too hard on yourself because of that. You have to adapt and you have to change. There are days that I have worked till the crack of dawn trying to get work done, make the maximum use of my time. But your productivity should never, ever, ever be at the cost of your health. And now I don't compromise the good night's sleep for anything, for anyone, no. It's a priority to me. And that's why you gotta kind of use your days effectively by prioritizing and building these habits. And I, I think you come full circle on this now. So those are things that I do or things that I keep in mind in order to balance my eventful life as best I can. It's always gonna be a work in progress because you're constantly evolving, adapting and changing and never get comfortable being in the same place. So I hope this helped you even a little. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!